And now to meet our first challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Marion Van Usten, is that right? <laughs> and uh, could you tell us where you're from? Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Now, I will confess to the panel, to whom I would now like to present you, that uh, we are using our guest's maiden name. For, which we, for what we think are very good and sufficient reasons, but actually it's Mrs., not Miss. Righto? Now would you join me over here, please? And uh, we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. We can tell you that our guest is salaried and self-employed and deals in a service, just to confuse things a bit more. And let's begin with Bennett Cerf. You say Miss Van Oosten is salaried and self-employed? Yes. That's me meant to indicate that under one form of uh, activity, there is a salary connection. Under another form of activity, it would be that of a uh, independent contractor self-employed. Mrs. Van Oosten, when you miss, is it, well, I call you Miss Van Oosten because that's your maiden name, is that mm -hmm. correct? Miss Van Oosten, when you do work for salary, is it for a non-profit making organization? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. On all counts, you're going to work for profit, right? Right, jolly good. <laughs> um, uh, could anyone on the panel use your services? Yes. It's available for both men and women? Yes. Is it a service that is pleasurable? Yes. Does it give some entertainment? Yes, can. Yes. Yes. Um, do you, uh, does more than one person at a time enjoy your service? Yes. Do they contact you directly for your service? Yes. Sometimes I would say that we would agree there are other occasions, particularly when more than one is enjoying the service, where the prior individual contact is not necessary. Hello? <laughs> yes, thanks a lot. Um, is your service uh, one that would uh, take people out of doors rather than indoors? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Preston. Ms. Van Osten, would it be necessary for me to go to Grand Rapids to avail myself of your services. No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Opens it a bit, doesn't it? Oh, ho. Very important. I don't know what it means, but that's <laughs> very important. Uh, do you ever work in some place other than Grand Rapids? Yes. Is it east of Grand Rapids? Yes. Isn't everything. <laughs> uh, a snobbish remark. A lot of wonderful you just lost us most of the West and the Mountain <laughs> State, Charlie, but we'll get them back. Uh, could you do your work in either New York or Washington? Yes. Uh, would you be likely to do it in Washington? That's a hard question. With your permission, it's a hard question to answer, Dorothy. Why? We can certainly think of circumstances under which it would be possible. We wouldn't want to uh, venture a guess as to the frequency of it, but it, it's within the realm of possibility, yes. May I ask if you have indeed ever done your work in New York? Yes. Do you work in an enclosure? Yes. A welcome night. <laughs> is, it, uh, is it something that is standing on the ground rather than flying in the air? Yes. Is it, in fact, not mobile? No, it actually was Tuscaloosa, as a matter of fact. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Blizzards do that to me, Dorothy. I'm sorry. I know. It's not mobile. Uh, is there anything creative about your work? In the artistic sense? Well, would it be connected with any of the lively or graphic arts? No. no. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. 
Miss Van Osten, when you perform your service for people, do you ever come in direct contact with them? Yes. Uh, do they become, as a result of your administration, either more beautiful or healthier? In the total result of some degree of the activity of Miss Van Osten, it's possible that uh, the recipient would uh, come within the confines of one of those two areas which you've outlined in detail, yes. Would you have anything whatever to do with either a beauty salon or a health institute? No. <laughs> no. Five down and five to go. I'm going to give you one more minute because you're... Is the mind improved in any way as a result of your work? I don't think so, no. <laughs> Six down and four to go, Mr. Preston. Is the mind not improved by... <laughs> no, I've got to give you a note of that too, Bob. That's seven dancing, down and three to go. Something to do with dancing or some kind of theatrical activity. That makes another eight down and two to go, Miss Kilgallen. You still got it. I just threw that in because we... Oh, well, obviously, uh, your husband's name has not been mentioned because we might recognize it. Do you think we would recognize it? It's a possibility you would, yes. Uh, is there a probability that we would? I would think, out of my personal knowledge of the panel, that I can say among the four of you, yes. Uh, is your husband uh, so celebrated that uh, if he did something dramatic, it would make the newspapers? Well, now, I'm going to throw them all because the minute is up. Actually, it's, it's uh, not uh, Miss Van Usten's husband who's celebrated. It's uh, Mrs. Marion Ludwig, who is... Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> who's the bowling champion. Oh, you yeah. woman's bowling champion, <laughs> the best woman bowler. <laughs> Actually, uh, the U.S. champion, but you have been named the... Best woman bowler of the year, something like nine times, yes, I believe. Nine times. And you hold two other titles. Would you tell me? I am the defending champion of the uh, All-Star Tournament, which starts Wednesday in Dallas. How many times have you won that? Eight. And what's the other title? Uh, four times world champion, world invitational champion. That's not fair. This, this, is, this is a chance I, for I, me to I, settle I, something I've wanted to settle for so long. Ever since I've read Ms. Ladewig's name in this bowling thing, did your husband or some member of the family fly with me in the three uh, in, in the in the uh, 555th in the 386th bomb group no, during one so. late war? The only other Ladwig I've ever known. <laughs> I'd like to ask Miss Van Osten if she's ever bowled a perfect 300 game. Have you? No, my highest game is 299. Ah! <laughs> one, oh, that's Let me explain one thing: why we said salaried and self-employed. Because uh, Mrs. Ladewig is, is uh, salaried in the sense that she is an employee of Brunswick Corporation and appears for them in exhibition matches and that sort of thing. Otherwise, why, of course, she's self-employed when she's professional bowling. And uh, must, may I say, we thank you very much for joining us. And it's... Uh, uh, My pleasure. It's sorry I am that it's 299 <laughs> and not 300. Thank you very much. Mr.